Hey, hier ist Marcel von OnPC.com und ich bin für euch in Hawaii, ja nicht zum Urlaub machen, sondern zum Arbeiten tatsächlich, weil hier Qualcomm den Tech Summit 2018 durchführt und auf diesem Tech Summit stellt Qualcomm unter anderem neue Prozessoren für Smartphones und Notebooks vor und was das genau ist, das zeige ich euch nach dem Intro. Ja, zugegebenermaßen, Arbeiten hier fällt wirklich schwer in Maui. Der Strand ist 50 Meter von dem Ballroom, wo gerade die Keynote äh, zu Ende gegangen ist. Qualcomm hat nämlich heute den neuen Snapdragon 855 SoC, also den neuen Prozessor, der dann bald in euren Smartphones stecken wird, vorgestellt. Und der soll dann den 845er ablösen. Was der 855er jetzt alles an Vorteilen bietet, ähm, hat Qualcomm hier ganz, ähm, ganz schön aufgebaut. Es sind nämlich verschiedene Demos, die dann visualisieren, wie schnell man Daten herunter und uploaden kann, wenn man dann den Prozessor dann zusammen auch mit einem 5G-Modem nutzt oder wie schnell Applikationen geladen werden oder wie viel energieeffizienter der Prozessor dann gegenüber dem Vorgängermodell ist. Und ich würde sagen, das klingt doch ganz spannend. Ich nehme euch jetzt einfach mal mit. Aloha, I am PJ Jacobowitz. I'm with marketing with Qualcomm Snapdragon, and we are here in Hawaii. We just took the wraps off the Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. This is going to be in all the premium smartphones this year, and you're going to love it. But let me show you one of the coolest features. I know the thing you're asking about the, uh, the most, what about the camera? Let me show you what we're going to be able to do on camera. So this year, we're going to be able to do Uh, 4K HDR video capture. So what we did was, we called up some guys in Hawaii, a film crew, we gave them a Snapdragon 855 before it was officially announced. We said, guys, keep it under wraps, keep it in your pocket, but take it out and capture some stunning video. And voila, these guys went all over the island, captured 4K HDR, so that's 10-bit color depth, that's 64 times more shades of color, that's over a billion shades of color. And the amount of Uh, luminance and contrast you can capture, you can get things that are bright and dark at the exact same time in the same frame. So you'll see you can actually capture a really dark setting but with fire at the same time and we can even do at sunset where typically things that would have been super bright and this would have been a silhouette are still going to come out. So that's a 4K HDR video capture but You know, some other guys did it. We want to make sure that you would be able to do it. So we are, uh, my friend Joey here is helping us out. We set up a beautiful indoor Hawaiian scene and we're uh, letting people come on over with uh, Snapdragon. Mark, I'm sorry, do you mind if I steal this out of your hands, Mark? So we have the Snapdragon 855 development handsets and we put in um, an even awesomer camera on here and we're letting people come on over here and capture their own HDR videos. And you can see here, we've got um, all of the uh, premier um, HDR formats, HLG, uh, HLG, HDR10, and we're even going to be doing HDR10+, Plus, which is a first in the mobile industry. So hopefully your videos, if you go pick up a Snapdragon 855 handset, the colors are going to absolutely rip because of the 4K HDR video capture. Right, this demo we're showing the power efficiency gains between the Snapdragon 855 mobile platform and the previous generation 845. On the, this demonstration here we have an Instagram uh, use case that we're showing where we have about a 20% better power efficiency and about a half hour more battery life as a result. And on the other uh, demonstration here we have PUBG. Uh, showing again a comparison between the Snapdragon 855 mobile platform and the previous generation 845. Um, again, showing about a 20% power improvement and about a 20 minute uh, improvement in uh, playtime. So we're showing Wi-Fi 6 Ready, which we announced today. And what we show with that is a Wi-Fi 6 access point which supports uh, eight spatial stream sounding communicating to multiple client devices. We are showing three Snapdragon 855 devices that support eight spatial stream sounding and three of our devices that have competitors Wi-Fi that only support four spatial stream sounding. We're showing this in a congested network where we have multiple 
Nest IQ video cameras uploading high quality video to the cloud and then displaying that on a smart display device. Those devices consume a lot of airtime, especially the devices that are far away and have to communicate through thick concrete walls. It's similar to you might have in a home. And so the devices uh, that are receiving the 4K video have to use the airtime they have available very efficiently. And because the Snapdragon A55 devices, all three of them can receive from the access point at the same time, they can demonstrate very smooth video, whereas the competitor's Wi-Fi product only supports four spatial stream sounding, and it can only communicate to two at a time at most, and therefore their video struggles to keep up with the 4K video rates. At this station over here, what we are demonstrating are the benefits of Aptex Adaptive, Bluetooth, headphones, and latency. Now, when we are on that standard SVC codec, there's quite a delay between when I hit here and what I hear on the set headphones. When I click and go over to Aptex Adaptive, we are able to notice a subtle yet huge difference in what we hear in the headphones and when we play on the keyboard. This Aptex adaptive technology is available in the new Snapdragon 855 mobile platform and is especially beneficial with gaming. All right, so what I have here is an 855 uh, reference to Qualcomm reference device. Uh, and we have loaded on it three applications from our partner, uh, ISP partner, SenseTime. So the first one is uh, super resolution. So what it does is you can take a picture, this is not in the right place, of something. We're going to take a picture of those boards. And it's going to take multiple pictures. It's going to process them. And then when we zoom, we can actually see the difference in the, the text. And it's doing that all through AI. So you can't even tell there's text there, but here you can. Guys, thanks so much for spending the time to check out the new Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. This is gonna be in the best smartphones later this year. Just some quick highlights for you. This thing is gonna be awesome. Uh, the general CPU performance, we have a 40% improvement in performance. This apps are gonna fly open with this device, uh, with devices powered by this uh, platform. On device AI, we're looking at 3x the performance. It's gonna be a, this thing's gonna be smarter than ever. The camera experience, mwah. 4K HDR video capture, the world's first computer vision ISP that's gonna offer a massive speed boost. So just like the bokeh and the portrait mode photos that we've had now for a little bit, you're gonna be able to add that to video because the CV ISP can do depth sensing in real time. It can do it at half the power it can also do it at four times the power savings when we're doing object tracking and object detection. You're gonna be able to remove the backgrounds from your photos in real time. This thing is incredible. And for all of you gamers out there, get ready. You're gonna be able for the first time to game in HDR. That's right. In the past, we've been able to play back HDR videos. Then we, now you can be able to capture HDR videos. Well, guess what? 855 is your first chance to game in HDR. That's over a billion shades of color. On top of that, we're gonna have some wild graphics technologies, including Vulkan 1.1 and physically based rendering. This is the stuff that you see in Hollywood movies. That's what these games are gonna feel like. It's gonna be awesome. And by the way, your battery is gonna last for so long. You're gonna get more photos per charge, more video per charge, more gaming per charge, more AI per charge, and more social media per charge, and unfortunately, more work email per charge. We're sorry about that one, but everything else we're not sorry for. So go check it out, the Qualcomm Snapdragon A55 mobile platform coming to a device near you soon. 
Ja, das war der Rundgang durch die Demo-Area vom Snapdragon 855. Ich würde sagen, genug gelabert. Ich gehe jetzt zurück an den Strand und bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Und wenn ihr Fragen habt, hinterlasst doch gerne einen Kommentar. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.